So in this tutorial, what we're going to look at is the is multiply and what multiply is doing. What I want to do is I want to take this image of this model. I'm going to blend her on this background so it, look, so it looks like she's on this background. Now you could do all sorts of complicated masking and stuff like that, but if you understand blending modes, you can do something fairly simple. So let's take this one and we're going to set it to multiply. Now you may say, okay, it has an interesting effect, but she doesn't look like she's actually on there. She looks like she has some weird kind of skin disease. That's because we're not done yet. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to add another layer. So I'm going to do Command Shift N. I'm going to call this white. I'm going to fill this completely with white. Now you may say, okay, well, wait a minute. What happened? Why is this image brought back, basically? Well, because multiply, you see all the white gets taken out. So if I put a layer underneath it as white, it brings everything back. So you can say, okay, well, how are we going to use this to our advantage? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an inverse mask on this. So everything goes away again because I've hidden everything. Now we're going to get just regular brush. And we're going to switch this over to white. And I'm going to start painting back. Now you could also do that by just painting simply white underneath as well. But um, working with the mask gives you a lot of flexibility. I just switched my brush because I was on a harder brush than I really wanted to be. So you can see in the hair, I don't have to clip away the hair. I don't have to do a lot of complicating masking with her hair. And we're just going to go in here and just kind of clean up around her neck and on her shoulders over here. All right, this is the tour, so I won't do a super clean up job. Just, I'll just do it so you can kind of see. All right, so this is why I have the white fully here, because now I went a little bit too far. If I just painted with white, it would be a little bit harder. Now I can just switch here, and I can adjust it. And you can go, and there's a little bit of white highlights here that you can get. go ahead and get rid of. But what I love is that inside the, the hair area, you can see that these blend very well. And what's also really nice is you see this, right? It's the shadow. The shadow kept up. So I don't need to add back in a shadow. All I have to do is clean up the images around it. 